welcome to another episode of lmc stack so guys in today's episode we will learn how we can call apex method and use that data into the lightning web component using imperatively apex method okay so guys in our last uh, in our last video we learned how we can get data using uh, the wire method we can wire uh, property or we can wire a function so so guys uh, the imperatively method is the third method that can be used while getting the data from apex to the lightning web component and this method guys can be used whenever you are having a point of action for a method let's say if you are having a click of a button in which you just need to load the data so in that case you can use the imperatively method so you know just to uh, just based on your requirement you can use different different methods uh, as per your requirement sometimes maybe you can uh, for simple results you can use wire to a property method for some processing you can use wire to a function method or for some controlling uh, click to call actions you can use the imperative methods to get the data okay guys uh, there's one one more thing uh, that needs to be you know uh, modified while using imperatively methods the uh, cacheable true is not required while using imperatively method because you know uh, in in those methods the data will be load each time whenever you will click on that button okay so in that case we won't be using any cache data so you can skip the cacheable true method into the imperatively calls okay so guys in today's example we will be creating an imperatively method and we'll be creating a lightning component in which we'll be getting the data using the imperatively method okay so guys uh, we'll be basically modifying the component so this was the last component we created it was the wired with function so we will be modifying this component guys okay so let's create a new uh, lightning web component first okay uh, let's name it uh, let's name it bind imperative method okay let's keep it in the default folder and here it is so let's quickly copy the meta and xml okay here it is so let's copy the bundles okay now we will have the html first so this is the html for this and we will have the javascript part also so let's copy everything then we can just modify it okay now we are not having get account list here so we have to copy the get account list also here it is so let me just copy and paste it all right so guys uh, this is basically the old javascript file now we'll modify the javascript file as per our requirement okay just give me a second okay so we'll be having list of accounts and we'll be having an error also so guys while using imperatively methods we can uh, remove these uh, wired things here okay so instead of this we will be using a simple uh, if else condition or may, or we can use the try and catch also okay so let me just update it so inst let me remove it first so we'll be using a normal function here and we'll be calling it on a buttons click okay so let's say we if we name it button click okay and we won't be passing any parameters here all right great then we'll be having the function here which is get account list okay and after that we can modify it to then all right and this looks fine so here it will be result 
so if result is positive then we'll be assigning the data to accounts or we'll be assigning the result to account okay and if there's an uh, if the data is uh, positive then we will assign undefined to error okay all right and instead of else we will have catch here so if error found here so in that case we will assign the error into the error and we will be having the undefined in the data okay so let's just close it okay we are not having any error here okay guys so this was the javascript part which needs to be modified here now we will move to the html part again okay so guys in html part also we are having almost everything so we just need to add a button here about the list and on the click of that button we will just load that list okay so we just have to create a button here so let's just copy this div and in this we'll be having the button okay all right so let's have a lightning button get accounts and we'll be having on click the function was button click so we will have button click here and that's it we are good to go now so guys what will happen here uh, whenever we will click on this button so it will just call this javascript function button click and in this javascript function we are just uh, getting the data from the account apex okay and we are already having that controller here all right so let's deploy this quickly deploy source to all okay and yes it is deployed without an error okay let's edit the page okay Let's search for the component and here it is bind imperative methods. Okay, guys, as you can see, here's a button. Oh, I think we missed to change the label here. I personally feel, guys, this is the worst part of using uh, VS Code while creating Lightning uh, Web Component. I mean, you know, if, if you have missed something, so you just have to make the changes and then you have to deploy it again. Like, you know, earlier uh, while I was using the developer console, so in developer console, you just have to save the uh, file and you can just reload the page to get the data. But, you know, here you have to deploy it every time. Let's make it using, why using imperative methods. Okay, so and let's do it one more time. it is deployed let's save it and go back why it is in imperative methods all right so guys now as per our code on this uh, get account button click it should load the data okay so let's test the code once all right it's working absolutely fine now so guys uh, these are basically three methods through which you know you can just get the data from apex to your lightning web component so there are a wired with property we can wire with function or we can use imperative methods to get the data okay so that's it for that's it for today guys and i hope you learned something new thanks for watching